Hello, uh, we are going to slice some text in Canva. Why? Because it looks cool. No real other reason. Maybe if you've got some prices that need to be, I don't know, our prices are slashed. <laughs> uh, what's the other one? Maybe we've chopped out already low, low prices. Anyway, get on with it, Dan. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Um, we're going to make it a dark background. You're gonna add text by hitting the T key. Okay, I'm gonna type in the word slice. For some reason, the word slice looks really good. Slice. It looks better in capital, so I'm gonna hit the old uppercase option. I'm gonna go through and you can use anything you like, okay, but I'm going to pick uh, sans serif, okay, so it doesn't have the little feet on it, and I'm gonna find something that's really thick and bold. Oh, that's gonna look good. Scale it up by grabbing the corner, nice and big. And the weird thing now is that we can't slice it. What we can do is we can export an image of this and slice it. This guy here, I'm going to share, I'm gonna to go to download. It needs to be a PNG, you need a transparent background. I'm gonna make sure I'm just doing the one page that I'm working on, download it, messy desktop stuff. This guy doesn't get used anymore. You can just hang out over here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna upload my image, okay, and I'm gonna say I want slice text. There he is there, drag him in. Now he's a picture of the slice text. What we can do is we can use the crop function. Okay, and I can say, all right, I want you, let's do the bottom first. So I'm gonna say you, I kind of sliced in half. That'll work. Click in the background. I'm gonna copy and paste it. So I've got two of them. And then this one, I'm gonna go back into the crop, which you can just double click to get inside of. And I'm gonna say you come down to here and then you come down this way a little bit more. The trick now is we need the drop shadow. That kind of makes it right. Here's this other version here. Okay, so that drop shadow is the key. The key to victory. So we're gonna go to elements. We're gonna grab a square. We're gonna fill it a linear gradient. Okay, if you can't do that, click on this new color option, beginning color. Okay, I want it to be black. And the second color, I want it to also be black, but I want the transparency, this option here, not to be at 100, but to be at zero. That's gonna give us the cool effect. And now I'm gonna say, we can either rotate it, let's just rotate it. 90 degrees, and we can squish it up, and nope, wrong way. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go you, and now this is up to you and how kind of like slicey you want it to feel. And same with this bottom graphic, I'm gonna kind of use my arrow keys to kind of get it to look like it's sliced. Hold shift to get it to jump in little parts. And then for some reason, it always looks better when you do this. You select them all and then rotate them a little bit like this. Oh, too much slice. <laughs> There's been ages going back and forth and deciding how sliced it needs to be. This gradient here as well, grab the transparency and just kind of like lower it down till you feel like it's working. Okay. Oh, now we're talking. 